What's up guys, Jay-Z Aquatics here, and we start off the video in the car, taking 10 bags of 10 mollies to Ed's Pet World today, seeing how much we can get out of them. I will see you guys there, it's probably about an hour drive. Hey guys, just got to Ed's Pet World, we're going to go in and see how much the mollies get for us today. Just got back in the car, got a little sponge filter for the new 10 gallon, and uh, Molly's made 80 bucks, 100 for an 80, that, that ain't bad. See y'all back at the house. We are back at the house, we have everything moved to the side, there's socks, the cat, what's up bud, what's up? Got everything moved to the side, we got this moved, we got the entertainment in the center of the room now, and we got the rack for the 55 built, no more fireplace. Let me give y'all a better view. What do you guys think? I like it. We have some extra space on the bottom here for uh, maybe some tens, fives, two and a half, some grow out tanks, you know, something. But yeah. How y'all think it turned out? We're about to get the sponge and the water in, and then I will show y'all at the end of the video when it is filled up. We have it filling up right now. The pump is pumping it in. We got the filter in there. Yes, we're running a sponge. Got this filter set up. We're still trying to work out some stuff. Got this one going. That one's way too big for that 10 gallon, but it's what we got. I'm still going, still going. PVC is doing might, I would say pretty good right now. I think I do need a bigger air pump. I may get that with the money I got from the Mollies today is a bigger air pump. But other than that, it's doing pretty good. I took one of the things off the, uh, the under gravel filter and put on there for some carbon in there. Seems pretty, Seems pretty legit to me. We're actually gonna pull out the under gravel filter out of here and take it all out and redo this whole tank again. But it's all good. Catch y'all when it's filled up. Hey guys, just got some heads up info. We're going to get, I think it's a six and a half kind of corner tank. And y'all should let me know if I should take the two and a half or the tens or the six and a half, put it all down here. Or leave it up there or put the six and a half in this little cubby hole right here or i should really just let me know what i should put down there but we are going to get a six and a half later today should show that in the next video hey guys it's taking a little longer than i thought we're about halfway but i was just thinking what do you guys think about shrimp and snails i am infested with snails but i don't have any shrimp should I get into shrimp? Also, I got rid of a hundred molly babies and I still have a good little bit left. I'd say I probably have about 50 left. About 20, 25 could still go, but other than that. But just let me know what you think about snails and shrimp. I do have snails, quite, quite a good bit of snails everywhere. Like over here in this tank, this tank, that one, and that one not those two not that one yet and not that one or that one but this is the the shrimp substrate right here but i don't have shrimp in it so i want to know your thoughts about shrimp i've never kept them never had them but i do have snails and i need some thoughts on snails because i don't know what to do with them anyways see you guys in the next video